<clears throat> All right, back on the morning drive, 105.9 WBJ, joined in the studio by Gretchen Quarterman. She is with the Walls Watershed Coalition, and uh, Gretchen, how you doing this morning? I'm good, thanks for having me. Good deal, and you, you come to armed with a lot of goodies this morning, and I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing here with these signs, that's pretty cool. Explain to us as I hold them up to the listening audience on Facebook what they're all about. I'll start with the uh, this one here. Okay. Okay. Well, the, the first one that you have there is the uh, Troopville boat ramp, uh, one of the signs that's uh, part of our kiosk. So we have uh, water trails on the Alapaha and the um, Withlacoochee and Little Rivers. And so the Troopville boat ramp is the one that's um, by 133, just mm -hmm. past the mall. Right. That sign is uh, up there, and it tells you um, if you're going to go onto the river, um, some river etiquette, um, some safety tips, a uh, checklist of what you should have with you, and then um, up and downstream what you'll see. That's so, right. okay, so there's a pair. There's a pair. Now, which one is it? Oh, okay, there's two of them. So both of these are the available boat, at the... They're at the, the boat ramp. Okay. Oops. Ooh, that, was that was loud, wasn't it? All right. Yeah, these are nice metal signs, very durable, that yep. built the last there. And, very helpful. A lot of information on there. There's a lot of information, and those will be at all of the boat ramps um, on the Alapaha uh, water trail and on the Withlacoochee Little okay. River Trail. So that's and so um, we're working on always fundraising to yeah. raise money to print those. Yeah, because they, um, they don't give them away. Posted. That's nice. No, signs. no, they're not. They're not, nothing's free. No, 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 no. And now I like this one. I just like the name of this one. Okay, that's the Shibagi boat ramp. Shibagi is the um, access to the Alapaha at. Um, uh, 82 up in uh, Alapaha, Georgia, and those signs were put up. This is a, a copy, one one that you can purchase uh, from us. Those the real signs that indicate where to go on the boat ramp um, were put up by DOT, right. and they also were quite expensive to buy from DOT, and we are fundraising for those. The sad part is that within seven days of that Shibagi boat ramp sign being put up there, it was stolen. <laughs> And so apparently people think, oh, well, that was my tax Somewhere dollars. That, yeah, yeah my, that was my tax dollars. I own that, and they took it home with them. Um, we, When it was stolen, we contacted the sheriff's department and the Barron County newspaper to say, you know, if anybody sees this sign, a DOT did put one right back up for us, but in general, they're not going to do that for free. That's right. Yeah. So if people would like a sign that says Shibagi or Barron Beach or Alapaha River Water Trail with all of the icons on it, uh, they can order those from us, and like that you know, if you want to put that in your boat um, area or uh -huh. in your uh, man cave, girl man cave, cave, girl cave, you girl know. cave, there you go. that's right. <laughs> yeah, I uh, like that. I can see that in my man cave. I like yeah, that. You know. Yeah. So um, let us know, and and you can get them from us. Okay, good deal. Well, I know there's a great event going on this Saturday, and uh, I'm I'm not going to be able to attend it, and it's just bothering me. But, uh, it's bothering me too because you keep saying you want this is such a great thing. The first annual Swanee River Keepers Songwriting Contest. This is the finals, the finale. We solicited a songwriters from across the United States to write songs mm -hmm. about the Swanee, the Withlacoochee, Alapaha. We talked about this a little bit the last time I was here. Mm -hmm. How many songs do you know about the Swanee? One. One. Mm -hmm. There are seven, eight, nine, ten more. Um, we solicited songs, a committee judged them and selected the top seven. Those seven performers have been invited to play. Perform live. Yeah. Perform live and be judged live. So wow. we have uh, three judges, uh, Cindy Bear from Jacksonville, Dan Cruz, who's a um, retired music teacher from uh, Swanee County down in Live Oak, mm -hmm. and uh, J.J. Roll here from Valdosta. Right. Um, so they will be our judges. Mm -hmm. We will have live music. We will hear these performers play their songs about the Swanee, with a coochie, lap hog, little, whatever, whatever they're about. I have heard some of them, but not mm -hmm. all of them. Okay, sir. Um, and then a winner will be selected, and that winner will win $300. Awesome, awesome. And, and you can get tickets. They're $10 per person online or $12 at the door. And you get you get the, you get the food. There's a, uh, Of course, there's right. a bar there. The silent auction will be there to participate in. The kayak raffle, that's going to be awesome. Finalists uh, will play and you'll be judged and the prizes will, will be awarded. And of course, the acknowledgement of the sponsors. It sounds like a wonderful time to sit there in a great atmosphere and listen to some good original music. Correct. So, Correct. That's why I'm saying, Gretchen. 
I'm, I'm, I'm sad, I'm, I'm, too. I'm, well, maybe I maybe you could change your plan and, and come. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it there, but I don't know. <laughs> I can't make any promises, but maybe it'll work out for me. What else is going on with, uh, with you guys? Well, on Saturday morning, ahead of this, we're having a local outing. All right, so we're going to boat from Langdale Park okay. to um, <clears throat> the Sugar Creek Landing by the Y. Okay. It's a short little paddle. Um, meet at Langdale Park at 9 o'clock. Unload your boats. Okay. And um, then we'll go as a group from Langdale Park. We'll take all the cars down to the ending at the by the Y. And in the minimum number of cars, drive back to Langdale Park. It's a short in-town paddle. It's mm -hmm. really lovely. It's easy. Uh, it's ten dollars for non-members, free to members. So if you'd like to, you know, just check out what it's like to paddle in town and you've never done it before, um, come on along Monday morning, uh, Saturday morning, nine o'clock. I used to, as a kid, I used to go down that stretch of the river uh, quite frequently with my with my friends. And when I say uh, as a kid, I was in high school mm -hmm. in the early '80s. So it would be it would be fun for me to do that trip as a nostalgic, you know, trip and, and going back and looking at that beautiful stretch of river right through there. Well, it really is, and the river is different every time you go down. I'm always it is, it is. surprised um, with the water is high or low. The water is a little bit high now. We've mm -hmm. had some rain, and it's going flowing nicely. You mm -hmm. won't have to probably drag your boat very That's far. Right. That's right. Um, but sometimes when you go down, you do find that you have to get out of your boat because you're sitting on a sandbar. There you go. Um, yeah. Not probably not this Saturday though. It'll be a nice paddle downstream. Yeah, I haven't looked at the river lately, but I would imagine it's it's it's, it's a pretty good level. It, right it's now. it's quite high right now. Yes, we've had a lot of rain. Here. Yeah, I know. Since we, when we talked the uh, last time you were here a few weeks back, we were talking about the water table and how much rain we've had. We've had even more rain since then, but uh, we're still we're still pretty dry. We're in still we're still That's pretty dry, and and the a lot of the rain actually has been to the north of us in the upper part of the watershed, so it still comes down the river, even though the water here not hitting the dirt. You know, is, exactly That's right. That's right. exactly. Good deal. Well, we appreciate what you guys do. And for more information on how to purchase the sign, where would they go? Um, Wals.net, www.als.net. Remember, www.als.net. Y'all check it out. I think uh, some of you old-timers like me would uh, would love to have some of these signs here uh, to hang hang up in your man or woman cave. Correct. And uh, you just start checking it. Go to www.als.com. Net. Dot net. I'm dot sorry. Net. Dot net. I got these dot nets all messed up there. But uh, anything else you want to get out of before I let you out? Um, please come to the songwriting contest. Yeah. It's an afternoon of live music on a hot Saturday afternoon. That's right. uh, Salty Snapper, they're going to do buffet, so your $10 uh, pre sale or $12. You can't beat that. You can't beat you that. Can't beat you that. Can't beat that. Tell, I've had that same buffet for 12 bucks. You cannot beat it. Get out, beat the heat. Uh, you know, we've been getting these afternoon thunder showers between 1 and 5, too. Okay. So, what else are you going to do? Come right. on out and support Wallace right. Watershed, uh, the Swanee River Keepers, and uh, check out the song, uh, songwriting contest. Be entertained and have a good time. Bring your family. A lot of room for everybody out there. Soft the snapper. So, appreciate you, Gretchen. Appreciate you coming in. Appreciate what you do. Thanks for having All right. me. All right, 105.9 WBJ. I'll be right back. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I got a. Uh, I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking.